I've got a brand new Hawk blade here. This is the uh, one and three quarter inch version, the shorter one, three and a half inches. It's the PI-175. And I'm gonna sharpen it for the first time. So first thing I wanna do is take it apart and we'll see how it looks. So over the years, these have uh, changed a little bit. They, I, as far as I know, they've been made in France for quite a while. But I have noticed there, there was a time a few years ago where they were consistently hollow and they took a little time to get uh, straightened out. So I'm going to take this to my stones and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, they always look flat, so that, that looks pretty good. I could... Uh, look at it like that and it certainly looks very flat like that. I do notice they they have polished this a little bit but my guess is that has just been buffed which which doesn't typically really help anything. I'm starting with a thousand grit stone. This is a Shapton stone so I'm just going to spray it. I've got my typical sharpening setup here. I've got three stones I've got a bucket of water here, and I've already flattened the stone, so I'm just going to start. Now, I, I like to hold it with my fingers near the tip, and I'll just use the stone kind of in thirds, so I'm going to use the upper third, the middle third. Now, that's kind of sticky. Whenever I pick the blade up off the stone, I always twist it a little bit. You never want to drag it off. So that looks really good. It looks very flat. And I think this is going to clean up pretty quickly. So one of the things I'm watching for, there, you know, there is some very light grinding marks on here. So I'm looking to see when those go away. And I'll have to look at it pretty closely to see that. There's a very slight polish right at the edge. And, and that, I think, confirms that this was buffed on a buffing wheel. And that, that the problem with the buffing, unless you're really, really careful, tends to round edges a little bit as the wheel comes off of the, the blade. So that will uh, hopefully clean up We'll see. But I'm going to continue on here for maybe another couple of minutes and we'll see how this looks. So I rent, just rinsed the stone off. I'm going to go a little bit more. And I, I normally flatten the stone every, I don't know, two or three minutes. I mean, it's really important that the stone stays flat. So it's nice to have a, a lapping plate. Because it just takes a few seconds to, to get that nice and flat again. Now these stones need to stay pretty wet to work well. We'll take a look, get that dry, and if I can just get that in the right light, I can see a little, just a hint of a reflection there, and I can still see the grinding marks. They're very faint, but I can see them, so those need to go away. So I'm going to continue on here until those are gone. That took about 10 minutes and I probably flattened my stone about three times during that process. So I'll show you a picture now and show you what I'm looking for before I move on to the next grit. The edge of the blade is over here, the sharp end, and here you can see the hole for the chip breaker screw. So off to the right, you can see the factory grinding marks. And as we move towards the edge, 
you don't really see the marks here. You can start to see a hint of them in this area. And this doesn't show everything, but you can see them up to about in this area. So I'm ready to move on to the next grit because this area looks free of the factory grinding marks. I've got my 4000 grit stone here and I'll squirt a little water on it and continue on. Now I expect to start to see a little bit of uh, polish at 4000. I'll definitely start to see a little bit of a reflection. Same same process here. Now it is once again a little sticky. So I'll continue. I'll turn the stone once in a while and continue on for a few minutes and take a look and see. Okay, I've been at this uh, maybe five minutes or so, uh, flatten the stone a couple of times, and can definitely start to see a uh, reflection here. If I really wipe that off so let's see if see if that shows up there so i can see i can't see my reflection but I'm, you know i can see reflection of lights and things so i'll know i'll show another uh, photograph and you can see a little more clearly now where the grinding marks start and and end and i, I think they end yeah, a little ways back from the edge, so I should be in good shape. It's a little easier to see what's going on now. Once again, the factory grinding marks are here, and you can see they gradually disappear. And I think the last ones you see are in this area. So the edge is looking good, and we're ready to move on. I've got my 8,000 grit stone on here now, and because I rinse my stones in the same bucket. I like to, uh, particularly on the finest grit, spray off any crud that might be on there, even though I've rinsed it, because I don't want any of the coarser bits of abrasive on, on the stone. I can scratch the surface. So we'll go ahead and polish up the back here. So when, when it sticks, I lighten up on the pressure and kind of move, try and move the water around a little bit. This might get a little trickier with the stone, though. Yeah, just a matter of getting the, right, getting the pressure right. And as this gets smoother, uh, it will get a little easier. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So that that cleaned up very quickly compared to some of the blades I've gotten from Hawk in the past. So so I don't know what they're doing, but it's good. So you can see there that's pretty shiny. So I'm very happy with that. I, I'm not going to show a picture of that. I don't think I need to. I can I can see myself there. So I will now uh, put this in my honing guide and I'll start to work on the bevel. I typically hollow grind my blades to about 25 degrees and then I hone them at 32 or maybe a little more than 32. Now this blade is flat ground at 30 degrees. So I'm I'm not going to hollow grind it. That's going to take a while. And since this is the first time I'm honing, I, I don't have much material to remove. Even even though I'm only putting a, a you know an extra two degrees on it. So I was going to start with my four thousand grit stone, but because this is pretty close to the angle I'm going to be honing at, I'm going to switch to the thousand and start there. 
I'm just going to start by honing a small bevel on there and it shouldn't take long at all to do that. Yeah, so I've got a, it doesn't quite go to the edge, it's pretty close, but I think I'll be okay. So it's, it's a little less than a 30 second wide, so that what, took four passes? And if I run my finger along the back edge, I, I feel eh, not much of a burr. I want to feel a little bit of a burr there. I'm going to go just a little bit more here. Okay, I'm just starting to feel a little bit of a burr there. So, so now I'm going to rinse, rinse off my stone so I can see a little better what's going on. And I want to put a little bit of crown on the blade, a little, little bit of curve. So I'm going to put my finger off the side. It's, it's half on and half off the blade. And I want to see, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see a narrow, relatively narrow band there. So maybe about four or five passes there. Same thing on the other side. And I should, yeah, I can see a noticeable widening of the bevel on either side. So I think I've got the start of a little bit of crown there. I'm going to switch to my 4,000. I'll start with even pressure. So I sh expect to see just a dark spot in the middle because I don't think the sides are, or edges are hitting. Yeah, so that's exactly what I expect to see. That's just hitting in the middle there. So a few passes like that. Now I'm going to start leaning on this right side. There we go. I'm going to gradually shift my pressure to the left side. That's looking good. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of as I'm going back and forth here, I'm, I'm switching the pressure left and right. I'm trying to create a little bit of a curve there. So here I'm on the right side, now I'm on the left side, and I'm guessing that's looking pretty good. Starting to get a pretty good polish there, even with 4,000. So I'll switch to my 8,000 grit stone now, and let's rinse that. Same thing. So I'm on the left side right now, moving towards the right. Now I'm on the right. I'm watching the pattern there, switching back to left. Okay, and that, that typically you know, pushes some metal off the end, although I don't really feel anything now. But I'm going to turn this over and, and basically do what I was doing before. I want to make sure any wire edge there gets honed off. I don't want to break it off. So I'm just putting pressure right at the tip. And then a, a couple more light passes there. One more time there. And I think that's that's looking nice. All right, here's the blade. That's the obviously the the back. And if I can get that to focus. You can see the bevel there. Very happy with that. That really cleaned up nice. Now I'm not done yet. I want to uh, clean up the chip breaker. So typically the, the chip breaker is fine. This one, this one looks really good. It, it is a little rough there. You can hear that, but there's some ridges there. I mean, it would probably work fine, but but I like to uh, just 
clean that up a little bit so the shavings can just glide right off of there. So I'm going to put that back in my honing guide. And this time I, I want to match that angle. So I'll just, I'll just set this up so that I'm, I'm honing very close to that angle. If anything, just slightly steep just to clean up the front edge of the uh, chip breaker there. And I'm not going to go all the way to 8,000. I'll just just go to 4,000. That's usually plenty. So that that looks good. Not quite as important that the stone's flat this time. So let's see. Yeah, I'm just, just hitting at the tip a little heavier than than the current angle. Okay, so that looks good. I'll hit it on 4,000 and I should be ready to go. I also want to check, make sure there's no burrs. So I will s slightly, uh, there's a little bit there. I'll just hit that on the stone when I'm done here. So that's, that's it. That's nice and smooth. What was that? No more than 10 strokes on each side. And then yeah, I can feel a little bit of a burr there. So I, I don't want to set this flat. I, I want to hang it off the edge because it is it is it has a slight bend to it. So I just just want to get that burr off the back there. And I'm going to check and see. I'll, I'll put it up against the blade. And, and make sure that uh, I can't see any light from under there. But uh, I think I'm going to be in good shape. So we're ready to, ready to go here.